a shaky start to a quiet Saturday. We're actually having an earthquake. Oh boy, yes, you are moving. Yeah. Are you on a boat? <laughs> no, that's you what move. it feels like. The region rocked by its biggest quake in 50 years, just before 10 a.m. I just felt the wood under me moving. Yeah, I don't know, it was a bit weird. It was OK, I just thought it was a truck going past. The quake's epicentre, 10 kilometres underground, was west of Noosa, but tremors were felt as far away as Rockhampton and Sydney. In the South Burnet, a local bakery shuddered. Everyone was looking around and we were a little bit nervous, but then it passed and we all had a bit of a giggle. Thousands lost power, including businesses on the Fraser Coast. All of my utensils started moving um, and then next thing we had power go straight out. Um, we were in complete darkness. This news agency in Mergen was forced to close. We will continue to uh, monitor the network and uh, respond as required. It was stronger than the nation's worst earthquake in Newcastle in 1989, in which 13 people died. This event is actually slightly bigger than the Newcastle event, but uh, we're lucky that it hasn't happened directly underneath one of the large towns in the area. Authorities grateful, but still surprised. I don't think anybody expected to wake up to that today in Queensland. Um, things falling off mantelpieces. Um, people have told me they thought that their partner was out the back with a jackhammer. The quake didn't trigger a tsunami threat and with only minor damage reported, many will be breathing a sigh of relief. But Geoscience Australia says aftershocks are possible in the coming days. Toby Loftus, ABC News.